Now, there are urgent calls for action to stop speeding on a road in Berkshire, where dozens of drivers were caught exceeding the 30 mile per hour limit in the space of just 90 minutes. Yes, volunteers have been recording the details of speeding vehicles on Bell Foundry Lane in Wokenham as part of a new initiative that's been launched by Thames Valley Police. With more on this, here's Mel Bloor. 33, 33 35, 34, 36, yeah, this one, get this one. Donning high-vis jackets and armed with a speed gun, these volunteers are on a mission to slow down speeding drivers. The community speed watch group was set up in response to a number of complaints from residents. It's a joke, someone will get killed. Mm. There was a petition launched by one of the local residents last year that got about 80 or 90 signatures. Um, the council are saying that they will do something about it, but it's very frustrating for us because all the changes that they talk about take a lot of time um, and we don't see much action actually on the ground. So that's why we like doing speed watch because it's something we can actually do. We can, you know, we know where the hotspots are with, with the speeding in our areas. In the space of just an hour and a half in a recent session here on Bell Foundry Lane, a total of 44 drivers were caught speeding with one twice above the limit at 60 miles per hour. Before being deployed to the roadside, volunteers receive training on how to use the speed gun and what to do if drivers become aggressive towards them. I signed up to volunteer because uh, I live locally and it's a way of supporting the community. I think people are often unaware of the dangers of speeding and this um, just gives them a little reminder. It's not just about the danger, which is obviously inherent in speeding, it's also about the quality of life for local people, for the noise that the speeding cars cause. And it's not just this road, there are plenty of other roads in the area which have the same issue. Evidence gathered from the volunteers' gun can't be used to prosecute motorists, but instead the group forward the driver's details to the police, who send out a strongly worded letter. Similar schemes have seen reoffending reduced by as much as 95%. More volunteers are now being urged to join up to the scheme and help put the brakes on speeding drivers. Mel Bloor, ITV News, Wokingham.